Now the Arrive Can app uh, used to screen for COVID during the pandemic is back in the spotlight and another investigation into possible wrongdoing has been launched and this time by the Public Sector Integrity Commissioner. Let's go to David Thurton who is in Ottawa. So David, more scrutiny on the government's handling of this fire f file just mm -hmm. a month after that scathing report by the Auditor General. Yeah, more scrutiny, and it's hard to keep track of all that scrutiny. Uh, by one count in the Globe and Mail newspaper, uh, there are about uh, at least a dozen investigations underway into this travel app. Arrive, Ken, and now we're learning today about another one from the Public Service Integrity Commissioner. Uh, we learned about this from a letter that a Conservative MP received and was shared with the media that uh, this office the Public Service Integrity Commissioner, which investigates wrongdoing within the public service, uh, is adding itself to the, the number of other agencies and committees that are taking a look into this travel application. And so the letter states that the Integrity Commissioner will be looking at wrongdoing when it comes to the development of this app. The Commissioner also confirms that two public service employees made complaints to that office, and those employees are Cameron McDonald and Antonio Utano both have been suspended from their work with uh, the Canadian government. They allege that they were suspended because they, blowed, they blew the whistle uh, on what was happening when it came to the development of this app. In fact, they appeared at committee recently and spoke about how they're being scapegoated and also how the allegations against them are, ba are, are false. So have a listen. The reality is, this document is nothing more than a collection of baseless accusations unsupported by any corroborating evidence. Accusations of wrongdoing supported by cherry-picked emails and calendar entries. It should be called the preliminary statement of falsehoods. So there was some sort of statement that was developed uh, that summarized their involvement and, and allegations against them. And you heard from uh, one of those employees calling it a preliminary statement of falsehoods. So lots of investigations underway. We can add another one to that list from the Public Service Integrity Commissioner, Hannah. Yeah, lots to keep track of there, but there are also more questions being raised today about additional contracts given out to one of the companies behind Arrive Can. Take us through that. Yeah, so GC Strategies, one of the contractors has been at the center of the allegations when it comes to this app. And now we can report that they received considerably more funding, more money from the federal government for the development of other apps. Uh, this came from La Presse, a French language daily. They first reported this, and CBC News is able to confirm this, that GC Strategies uh, received additional money from the federal government, from the Canadian Border Services Agency specifically, to develop three other apps for the Border Services Agency. They, so they received $8 million for those three apps. Uh, two were used by border agents. One was used by travelers. Again, $8 million for three apps, on top of the $19 million that they received for ArriveCan as well. And so GC Strategies, once again, in the hot seat. They're going to be back in the hot seat tomorrow when two of their uh, the people who run that two-person firm will be appearing before uh, a parliamentary committee to testify before MPs. Tough questions will be asked. We'll certainly be watching that, Hannah. I know. We'll be watching that together, I'm sure. David Thurton mm -hmm. in Ottawa.